Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the denim. I put the records on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. What's up, Divas and Divas? Oh my God, great to see you. So your girl's back with another video. This one today is a different color, something different. You know what I'm saying? Like it's summertime. You guys can go outside somewhat. You know what I'm saying? Just enjoy yourself. Even if you can't, you can still look cute inside the house. But your girl got a new tattoo. I did get a new tattoo on the 28th of May. This one is all about my son who passed away. This is nickname Wuzzle and some angel wings in a halo. The wings are outlined in blue. The halo is outlined in gold and his initials are outlined in purple. Those are his favorite colors. Next day on the 29th, I did go back to get a tattoo, but a redo. You know what I'm saying? The tattoo on the other side of my neck was like 15 years old. The color was gone and the lines were stretched out. So I did get a, not a new, but I just got it redone. Nothing new was added. It just was corrected, color corrected, you know, sharpened and stuff like that. So my neck is kind of sore right now. The unfortunate part is I'm not able to wear my necklaces. One consists of my son's ashes can't wear that for like a week because he said you can get like a skin infection due to jewelry because jewelry holds so much dirt and bacteria so that's the downfall i shouldn't even have these on because they are kind of like hitting against my neck so i'm probably going to end up just taking them off that's what i did this week is just go ahead and get me some new tattoos and then i will go back a week after my birthday and just start working on my arm there are some things that i need to get redone and finished i'm just going for the whole sleeve look so i'm i'm happy that i'm finally able to get back to the things that i like doing which is getting tatted up okay okay so anyway let's just jump into this video you know what i'm saying i'm pretty sure you guys have heard of why wigs before if you haven't i hopefully remember to link some of my videos that i did do reviews on for their wigs they have some nice wigs as for affordability i think like they would probably be like in the middle threshold you know i did say that i do have a budget friendly list and then i have a middle list and then i have a kind of like higher end price list so i'm thinking that these, these wigs, this particular company is in like the middle. It all depends on what you get, you know, the density, the length. It just all depends. So with that being said, we're just going to jump right into this. So they sent me their 16-inch Virgin Brazilian Deep Curly, I think it's called, Lace Front. It's a 13 by 6. I did put in the elastic band a few minutes ago. But prior to that, it does come colored like this. So it's a mixture of 27 and 30. So all I did was add some purple shampoo to it just to remove any type of brassy tones that it did have. And I also bleached the knots, which were kind of already bleached for you. But I did see a little bit of speckles and I wanted to get down and dirty, you know, like deep bleach them and make sure there weren't any. So that's what I did. And I did use the purple shampoo. Let me tell you about the hairline. First of all, you didn't have to pluck anything on this hairline, which was fantastic. So I didn't even have to do that. However, I did do just a little bit because I just wanted it to kind of almost mimic my own. But you don't have to. That's the plus about this unit. The hair, the lace. I'm thinking this is transparent. I'm not really sure what it said on the website. I will definitely link everything below for you guys and give you the information once I show you guys how your wig comes. It does not say if the cap construction is you know transparent but the lace looks so damn good that i'm thinking that they just forgot to put it on the website but it already comes pre-plucked for you and it's thin so you don't have to really do anything but you know your girl is trying to be a perfectionist so that's what i do i have a certain skill set that a lot of people don't know about i'm gonna show you guys how your wig comes so that way we could just get into this video right after that when you receive your unit from wild wigs it will come in their standard black packaging and it will state ywigs.com. You'll also receive a deluxe wig cap. Ywigs will also provide a satin bag, which you can store your unit in. And you'll also find the returns and exchange policy inside of your package. The 
unit that I received is Jennifer. She is a mixed color of number 30 and 27. This unit is a deep, curly, virgin, Brazilian lace wig. And the inches that I have is 16 inches with a 150% density. As stated, the unit has a mixed color of 30 and 27, and the roots are dark on this unit. As you can tell by the curl pattern, once washed, the unit will have a more natural curly texture. The color of the lace on this unit is a medium brown and has been pre-plucked and pre-bleached for you. I did go ahead and use some of my bleach on this unit just to get rid of the dark knots in the front which were very minimal. Make sure you check out Wigs as they have many different units to choose from. I'll leave their information below. Alright guys, so from what I've told and seen on the website, the color of the lace is a medium brown. It does not state that the wig is transparent lace. It doesn't say that it's HD Swiss lace. Listen, either way, this is like the best lace. If it's not Swiss and it's not HD, then this is really some damn good lace, okay? This is a color medium brown that I have on here. And I'm going to just cut the lace. But let me tell you guys, it does have bleach knots already in the unit. And it's kind of like pre-plucked for you. But, you know, I like to do my own little spin on stuff. So I did pluck a little bit away from the hairline. And I also just put a little bit extra bleach on, you know, the front portion. It really didn't need it because eventually I did pluck those portions of dark hairs out. But they don't bleach it as hard as we would just to make sure that the hair doesn't fall out. But I just bleached a little bit. And being that the wig just overlapped my my ears a little, I'm just going to cut away some excess hair. But you'll see me do that in a minute. Now, this is the part I was talking about. I did take my rat tail comb and I parted it above my ear. And then I cut off that excess lace. So that way my wig will lay flat. And now I'm just going to part my hair in the frontal perimeter. You can either do this to make baby hairs or flyaways or wispy hairs. But I like to do this because I like to spray the hairspray in between the part after I've sprayed it underneath. So as you guys see, I went ahead and sprayed my Got To Be Glam Force under, not too far up, only just, you know, on the sides. And now I'm just going to take that same hairspray and spray it in between where I made the part at. And the reason I like using the hairspray, as you guys can see right here, you can easily wipe it away versus the glue. It doesn't get messy. And then I'll just take my blow dryer and blow dry the unit. Um, if you don't have a blow dryer, then I would suggest doing it in small sections. And I'll also use my rat tail cone just to help press the lace onto my skin. And this method is really quick. Even if you don't have a blow dryer, this hairspray dries really quick. And also, you can also use um, bed head. And I'm just going to take my eyebrow trimmers and just cut those hairs. Now, you know, you really don't need too many flyaways or wispy hairs with this unit because the lace is so damn good. But I'm just going to have like maybe one or two, you know. And you want to repeat those steps on the opposite side. Now it's time to style that wig. And I'm just going to be using my Dollar Tree um, Styling Mousse. And this stuff works really good. I love salon selectives. It's great to use this to sculpt your baby hairs, your flyaway hairs, your wispy hairs, whatever you want to call them, their hairs. But I love this um, style of mousse. It's only a dollar at the Dollar Tree, and this brand has been around for many, many years. Now, y'all see the lace? This is some good lace. I'm telling you guys, it does not state what type of lace it is. But I'm pretty sure if it was HD or Swiss, you know they would have said something. 
And like I was saying, the color is a 27 and 30 with the dark roots. And I'm glad they kept the roots dark because that made it easy for me to bleach. And then I'm going to just leave you guys. I'll be back after I'm done styling this unit. was so fast and easy. Thank you, Y Wigs, because it came out perfect. This lace is definitely invisible, transparent. There's no way that it can't be. I did search on the actual product. It's not stating that it's transparent. Let me just see if I missed something. It does ask you your cap size. It asks you the cap construction, which only gives you the options of either a six inch deep part or an upgrade to a new full lace wig. It does not give you the option to choose a transparent lace. The lace color says it's a medium brown. The lace color that I have is a medium brown. This lace color is beautiful. It does actually look like transparent lace. So if this is not transparent HD lace, then let me give you this much wide wig. Meow. You definitely get a 10. This wig is definitely getting a 10. Don't get crazy. Because for real, this is a medium brown lace. And girl, look, not visible at all. I did not use any of my tinting spray on it. They did not state that it was HD. They did not say think that it was transparent. They did not say it was Swiss. It just says medium brown color. For one, you don't have to pre-pluck this wig. You don't even have to bleach the knots in it. Of course, I did because I like it to be perfect. But for real, this wig is definitely a 10. We need to figure this out. The color is not brassy. I like the color. When it came to me, I do think that it was like the same color, but I just put purple shampoo on it just to be on the safe side. You can see the different streaks of blonde in it. And it's a nice density and it's a decent length. So for 16 inches, this kind of reminds me of more or less like 18 inches. You know what I'm saying? I like the color a lot. And I'm really happy that it had dark roots. That way, if it wasn't bleached, I can still bleach it because it has its natural dark roots in it. This wig was dumb easy girl okay okay you guys have not noticed i do have on some red lipstick from a brand called sheen sheen glam it's a really unaffordable it's a really affordable cosmetic line but they also do sell clothes like a rose gal type of store and i have had these freaking nails on for a week today they are not even moving they don't feel like they want to pop off i use the actual kiss glue that came with the nails this time normally i use the um crazy glue but i didn't have any more so i just used the nail glue that came with it and what a huge difference this nail glue works so good this is the kiss pink gel nail glue that came with it these nails are not coming off why wigs this wig is popping i'm happy about the ease because a girl don't like to do too much and you see barely any baby hairs or anything like that. You can just brush the hair back and it'll look so natural. So give it to them. They are definitely getting a 10. So I will link everything down below for you girls. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it is on sale. And like I said, it all depends on the length and the density that you require. But yes, girl, I'm wearing my Queens New York City t-shirt because that's where I'm from. Well, I'm cut you. But you know, you guys, I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. Let me know what y'all think down below and on that note i got to go it's early well it's it's early for me because it's only 12 o'clock and i'm done with one video so a girl is on a roll i got two more to go so i love you all make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up and on that note bye 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 <laughs>